wonder where Legoland is. Oh, maybe this gentleman can help me. Tell me, sir. Can you tell me where Legoland is? Talk to me. Say something. He won't talk to me. <laughs> he won't talk to me. But I want him to tell me. Do you know where Legoland is? <laughs> he won't answer me. <laughs> Uh, how many years for this now? Oh, this is new. Second year of the oh. We're about all four movies this year. It's a lot of classic. All the details are there. Short round has short legs. Lego Star Wars 10th anniversary. So we split the launch between Clone Wars, which kids are really into right now, on Cartoon Network, the kids are really gravitating to. All kinds of features and functionality, really great details in there. Oh, my. Look That's a huge that. model, yes. over 1,100 pieces in this one. And then for classic, for people who know the, old, the older movies that are still into those, which a lot of people are, we celebrate our 10th anniversary because the Battle of Endor, which actually introduces the new Ewoks, and then all of the classic mini figures that everybody remembers. The little cars and things that are inside, they have to put that together? Yes, they do. Time. Everything has to be put together. How's the website doing? The website's Star phenomenal. Lego.com in general is doing phenomenal. How many kids? Send in videos? A lot of kids in videos, pictures, it's the most popular part of the web actually sending in pictures. Do they come up with things on their own? Yeah. Do they elaborate on what they They do all everything you can imagine. So they'll send the sets and then they'll build on top of them and create their own thing. Nick said to be Batman and Star Wars and SpongeBob and the City and that's terrific. It's kind that's of terrific. It's yeah. real it's, it's educational as well. It's teaching them to be creative. Yes. I can take it down. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just looking at the fact that uh, it's interesting, Ira, because they have the ceramics as well into it, so it really looks like a real, a real car. Well, it's actually a like the a finish. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the finish is beautiful yeah. on it. I know Brian came in last night. Love the packaging. Yeah, it looks terrific. It's, it's really appealing to both kids yeah. and parents. And the collectability. Yes, absolutely. Mindstorms. Um, it's an upgrade from our kit in 2006. Um, added in a new sensor that is actually acts as a lamp, a color sensor, and a color sorter. And he works on the computer? Yep, you actually program on the computer and then you load it into the NXT brick, which is kind of the brain of the robot. And you'll see over there that the colors will flash. Software that you can upgrade your, upload your own picture or sound. So you can make your robot talk, you can put your face on his little screen there. Oh boy, he's a fast one. Yeah, he is. So you can make oh this, operate this from your computer to walk, talk, and... You actually program it right on the computer, and, and then it's saved into the memory brick. There's also a new remote control And feature. the same thing, you can put his picture yeah, in there. Yeah, you can make a picture in there. You can, put, you can make him growl like an alligator if you wanted to. Make or really different sounds. Different sounds. That's the a big that favorite. Is. Yep, Pirates of the Plastic for us launched in 89 originally. We brought it back every few years. Classic build, you've got your shark, your princess. That intrigued me. And look at all the little detail work inside. So this is more than just action figures. You could use your imagination to create anything. Lego Duplo. This is our building system for kids 2 plus. The bricks are four times the size of a typical Lego brick, so it's a little bit easier for smaller hands to build. A few different themes in the, this year. We have our fire theme, so you've got our fire station with the great Dalmatian, the figures, and the cars. And of course you have a typical just fire chief car. This is what we're calling our bricks and more section. And this is actually just very classic Lego. We kicked off, um, actually this is our Village of Tomorrow set. It's a great box. It's 650 very classic, very basic Lego bricks. But it has a website associated with it. It's so legofamilytime.com. And you can go on and every month we have new building instructions for different seasonal models. But it's something a little bit different. So it's really a value box that kind of changes every month. It's a great play value for kids and parents. Always classic for us, LEGO City is a 5 plus and it's a modular build. So this comes in different numbered bags. So these aren't too overwhelmed. You don't just dump 500 pieces on the ground. You do it in bunches. Makes it a little bit easier. And then back is all about populating LEGO City. So we've got our camper and our actual street scene here and our garage. So really moving more of a personal side into LEGO City. Oh, that's fun then. And it's a quick little one. So it doesn't actually come with a little motor. It comes that, with a little, that, little motor that, that with a remote control. Yes. Yeah. So when you build it, you just incorporate that in. And it's simple building.
that's great for an older child. Yes, absolutely. And it's a seven plus age grade, so it's nice. It's pretty easy to build. So the younger people. So Lego Juzo, a classic for us. The kids who aren't quite ready for the little blocks, but these are great for the big hands. They're compatible with Lego bricks, so it's an investment in your building future. So you're never really throwing anything out, it's just building upon it. Little hands, so yeah. this way they, they're big pieces that yeah. they can put together. But they still have to build and imagine. Right. Do everything they need to do. We demonstrate the train. Yes. It's coming around the bend. Say goodbye to Lego, Ma. Oh, I have to say goodbye to Lego. I hate to because I'd like to really stay here and play. Here's a gentleman that's made big as life. So don't be jealous. He's very nice. This is a remake of an old um, top from the 1930s. came out in the fall of 2008. It moves back and forth just like a crab. You can spin it. And if you get it really good, you can spin it in one spot. It also has bump sensor feelers in the front and the back so that it can rebound off. And it's five times faster than any of these other guys. Here. Oh boy. He's got the raid. Uh-huh. 